my god, fake flowers. Not good for PCOS, but good for my countertop. Come with me to Costco to find the best foods for PCOS. One of the main reasons your PCOS symptoms have been exacerbated is because your blood sugar levels are higher than they should be. When insulin is consistently high in the bloodstream, your ovaries produce more of an androgen. It's called androstenedione. It activates a little enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, and that causes more of your free testosterone to convert to DHT. That is a trouble androgen. So we've got to lower your blood sugar. And the fastest way to do that is through ketogenic nutrition. So with keto, the goal is to have protein, fats, and then we're going to have some fiber. Some of the best fats you can get are nuts, organic whole cashews. This is a great source of fat. My favorite though are these unsalted mixed nuts. I get them all the time here. Oh my God, fake flowers. Not good for PCOS, but good for my countertop. Another source of really healthy fats is going to be something like avocados here. This is awesome. So you get all these fun cheeses. Remember, cheese is a healthy fat source when it comes to ketogenic nutrition. This is a great find too. You got heavy cream if you want to add it to your coffee. No carbs, no protein, no sugars, no nothing. It's just six grams of fat. That'd be a phenomenal alternative to something like this. Next thing that's going to be key is your protein sources. We're looking at any meats. The shrimp is good. Just avoid the cocktail sauce or make your own so you don't have sugars in it. Easy options is sliced grass-fed beef sirloin. Another option we like chicken skewers like this. It does have one gram of sugar per two skewers, but it is 24 grams of protein. If this was one of my PCOS clients and she wanted to get this, I would say go ahead. These little steak bites, these will work just fine. So it does have hidden maltodextrin in it. However, in this very small amount with this much protein, it's most likely not going to cause any increases in blood sugar and absolutely will not kick you out of ketosis. So this would be a win. 345 a dozen. It's not terrible. I didn't have to take out a second mortgage on my house. The triple zeros are like my go-to. 15 grams of protein. There's no added sugars. 7 grams of carbs. It's just enough to not kick you out of ketosis. It's sweetened with stevia, so we got a win there. This should definitely be in your fridge. I just stumbled on these organic chicken burgers. Only one gram of added sugars in here. Everything in it's organic. This would be a win for a protein source too. One of the things I try to avoid are these pre-made salad mixes because the dressings have all sorts of sweeteners and sugars in it that's going to kick you out of ketosis. So it's best to make your own from scratch. You can buy the mixes here like spinach or any type of mixed greens, green beans. I like the small asparagus spears. Broccoli is a must. Celery is great. Carrots in moderation are okay as well. Fiber will slow down the digestive process so it'll help you stay full longer. You've got veggies, you've got your fat sources, you've got your protein sources. So there's a couple of meal ideas there that's going to be huge wins for you girls. Ditch the carbs, go keto. You'll have a steady stream of energy all day long because your body is literally ripping body fat off of you and using it as a fuel source. It lowers the insulin levels. It's one of the four prongs I use with all of my girls. You should start seeing results in your blood sugar immediately and seeing alleviation of your symptoms within two weeks and up to your next cycle. Try that. Let me know how it goes.